Welcome back, my friends. My name is Eric. This is Rome. We're back with some more Unforetold Witchstone. We have come up out of the sewers. There we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to come here. We're going to see if we can get a, get on the train. And we're going to take the train to the first village. That is our goal going forward. Just realized I should have added a button to the Steam Deck to turn off the camera. So that for cutscenes, I can quickly turn me off and maybe get a screenshot. All right. The Bright Wind Witch at our magic. What a sight to behold. No wonder tensions in the lower dock are ignored. This is where we must part ways. Get yourself a train ticket. I'm certain you will discover invaluable kinships in Howling Valley. All right. How do we protrude? Uh, will the lower docks ever be free? I sadly believe not for a while. Many factions want to lead Kalsundia, but the corruption among those who work with, uh, like the Lawblades, is too rampant to reverse overnight. Good luck, Traveler. Be wary of those who try to sway you, unless it's me. Marin chuckles knowingly, nods for well, and departs. All right, leaves your party. Have a feeling your paths will cross again in the future. Oops. There's the train there. Uh, alt is what we hit in this one, right? Uh, merchant. Let's see if we can buy something. Uh, master house merchant at your service. Except for right now. All merchants are closed until the train departs. Ouch, my wrist. Um, how about an insight? Nope. Nope, didn't get there. I thought maybe if we got an insight, maybe we'd have a chance to... You avert your eyes as they grow worried of your scrutiny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought maybe there'd be a chance that we would be able to to influence him to uh, to sell us something, right? Okay. So, uh, you talkable? Law enforcement leader. Are you talkable? Stack of corn and apple. We won't we won't steal those. He looks like he needs as much food as he can get, right? All right. Let's come on down here. Today we'll board a Brightwind train, but that does not put our brigade at their mercy. The Brightwind clan may have the Witch at our gadgets, but they do not have our numbers. I think these are Commonwealth, maybe? We are the Commonwealth. Our futures are secure. Kalsundia favors our greater purpose. All right, so we've got two of our factions here, the Commonwealth and the trains. Uh, another civilian merchant. Sorry, friend. Shops are closed for the moment. At least until the train departs. It's a theft preventive measure. Try one more time. Nope. We continue to not be able to roll dice. It's a good thing to know that some things never change, no matter what game we play. Uh, how about this dude? What does this guy have to say? Train goes to Howling Valley. Oh, we got a 60% chance this time, but we've had that for the last couple times. Hey, we just barely made it. You notice the inquisitive eyes of Sousa Raltan, you get the feeling she's very observant and can probably inform you on others. Uh, how can I board the train? Uh, Imelda won't let you on without a train ticket. If she's paying attention, that is. Oh, if she's paying attention. So it's possible, just like with uh, the guy at the, at the entrance to the sewers that we failed on every attempt, we could possibly get on even without a train ticket. Uh, can you tell me about yourself? I dream of exploring Kalsundia from coast to coast. All right. Well, we've got a spot. You wanna you wanna join us? We get a lot of op a lot of bonuses here. So, she's an adventurer. So what? Six, seven, twelve. We need a fifteen. Can we roll a three? <laughs> there we go. We made it. Success. All right, consider your words carefully, then smile and nod. I've been looking to join a competent party. Let's go. I don't know that we're competent. All right, so she is, uh, if she'd stop running, it just says civilian adventure. Is there any, uh, you want to talk to me? Of course you do. That's Commander Ballon to the Commonwealth. So inspiring. That's a leader. 
We've got to get on the train to Howling Valley. I've never seen Wichita technology like this before. Such power. Maybe someone has extra train tickets. But whatever happens, the train attendant has got to be easier to deal with than the corrupt elves. Uh, I don't think so. But we can come over here and talk to this gentleman. He looks like he's got a ticket. Yoo-hoo! Interesting hair. Would you like to shine like Wichita magic? Ride the train with me and you'll shimmer like a gem. Imagine sitting side by side as we head to Howling Valley. I'm a bright wind investor, so my money belt is full. I'd just love to share my wealth with you and my seat. He doesn't seem to be very smart. I've got my ticket in hand. Do you have yours? Um, no. Could you spare one for me? Fairly, verily, you are vain, asking for a train ticket even before we get to know each other. I have my one and only ticket. I have no intention of parting with it. Yet. All right, well, let's use our insight. We don't know, but we're going to get a plus six. So we're going to fail because we continue. Oh, we might have made it. Might have made a 15. Yep, we got an extra bonus for some reason. He tries to hide it, but the occasional flash of clueless expression makes you think he'd be easy to bluff. Um, and we're just going to say, I'd like you to give up your ticket. And we're just going to go sweet talk. Yeah, I mean, A, he's been insight checked. He's gullible. He's friendly. So we've got uh, a lot. Six, seven. Once again, we get that uh, plus 12, I guess. Can we roll a one? No, we actually rolled well that time. Fair enough, that should be a critical success. Words make him blush. Verily, verily, I'm all to flutter. Who would deny such a sweet praise? Please take my ticket, ride the train in my place. I should not be downhearted knowing you'll think of me the whole way. Well, he's got plenty of money. He can buy a ticket on the next one. All right, let's hop on. Talk to uh, Amelda Sw uh, Sallow here. Bright wind train will soon depart for Howling Valley. You do well to be aboard. That is, if you have a valid train ticket, I envy you for being able to leave. This is not the Kalsundra I once knew. We used to be a bustling port, Kalsundia's main attraction. Now, with the docks closed, locals are closing up shop while visitors must skulk through sewers to escape. And do the factions care to help? You saw it. That Commonwealth commander, Balan, couldn't trouble himself to lift a finger. Contesting townships, that's their only priority. We'd be better off without them. Sure, we're going to just keep roll rolling. Because, why not? Nope, there's our two. I knew we'd get one soon. Um, ask about Kalsunda. What you see is what you get. All right, well, that's not super useful, but welcome aboard. All right, here we go. Choo-choo. The Witchstone powered train races across the desert, far faster than any conveyance or beasts of Orwinter, yet you barely feel any bumps or shaking. As you finally re have a chance to relax and see the passing scenery of Kalsundia, you feel weary. Your eyelids get heavier and heavier. A faint voice speaks inside your head. You will soon reach the ch a crossroads, bonded child, and I shall pay close attention to what you decide. Tell me the truth. What do you want for Kalsundia? All right, interestingly enough, when... Who else did I see play this? I think it was Ko. Um, there were only three options. Peace, chaos, aside with the oppressed. So they've they've added a couple, I think, just since then. So from the early access build to the final build, they've given us more options, which is good. Um, because I agree with him and Splatter and everybody else that I've seen play this. Um, I don't like being railroaded into something before I've even played, before I even know what's going on. Right? I don't know anything about the three sides at this point. Not really. Um, and so having to choose something is awfully hard. I think I'm just going to go with I'm just trying to survive. And I think that's fine for us. You have time to make up your mind. Explore the land, meet new people. You will meet those who will get you unbound. And with that, you hear a voice behind you get louder and louder. So, like I said, most of my issues are scriptable. I don't know your stories, you don't know me, but when we get to Howling Valley, we step into our faction role. That's the power of the Commonwealth. We act on the faction's behalf, and nothing we do, nothing we say is wrong. Commander, why do beasts not enter Howling Valley at all? Beasts, huh? Who are beasts? Are these beasts? It's time to swear on Kalsundia's beasts, I guess so. All you people, off the train, get moving. You gotta read fast. Alright, well, there's a lot of people here. We've got our party. We'll see if there's changes even since I played it last. All right, as events unfold in the world, it's up to you whether or not to intervene. If you do not, these events will resolve on their own, and the world will react to the consequences. So we've got bandits, who we don't really care to help, against Commonwealth, who we haven't seen much good about either. 
So as far as I'm concerned at this point, I'm just a passenger on the train. I've got no reason or requirement or, or moral obligation that I need to set in on either side here. This is up to them. If it costs me some money because we get robbed, we get robbed. All right. With their attention divided between the Commonwealth and the wealthy, <coughs> bandits forgot about you. Robbery and worry of people just trying to get to Howling Valley. Do us all a favor and put some thought into your heists. Yeah, such such boring criminals. The ordinary people have all fled, Commander Ballad. How how do you know me by my name, Luck Turner? Well, you know Luck's name. Putting thought into our heists tends to help. Brothers, for the greater purpose. There's no such thing as a greater purpose. <laughs> Survival is all that matters. I'm going... Oh, it's not going to let me do anything. Oh, my people are... <coughs> what an opportunity. Here's our chance to get in good with the graces of the Commonwealth. You must have heard that talkative bandit, too. Luck turners are making the way to Howling Valley and their queue to invade is about to be given out when Commander Ballad dies. I recommend taking the bandits down or using violence against them to prevent further chaos from spilling into Howling Valley. Oh. We're going to stay out of it. We're going to stay out of it. I'm going to step forward here. I'm just trying to get our party spread out to where we... where we're ready. So we've got our fight going on up here and we can come on and watch this. Um, looks like Commonwealth might win this one. So when I did this the first time, oh, maybe not, the bandits won handily. They took down the leader right away, uh, the general, and then the other the others went down. In this case, it looks like the, looks like spears give you longer range to attack too, opportunity attack. Come on, if they can take down the boss, they'll probably be okay. Nope, they're going down too, but they still might kill the Luck Turner boss. There we go. Luck Turner, oh, is on the brink of death. There he goes. All right, so now it's three ordinary guys against the boss and, and one normal dude. So I don't know. Anybody's fight still at this point. He's going <clears> to <throat> move out, come back around. He missed. Ah, uh, he went after the gunner. That's probably a good idea. I thought that's what Balland was going to do the first time. No, he just keeps. Maybe he's got a special ability that requires him to move a certain amount of time, like a charge or something like that, and he's just moving out to get his charge off. Oh, oh, that might be it. That might be it. He needs to take down one of these right away. Take down that one. Now take down the gunner next turn, and maybe he's got a chance. <clears throat> oh, oh, I think he's got it. All right, now you know what we're going to do? We're going to attack the bandit now. <laughs> All right. Let me tell you what happened to me last time because we've changed it completely. We're not going to be able to see what's going on. Let me let me hit pause real fast. So what happened to me last time was the bandits won the fight, and then they came over and threatened me. So I defended myself and killed the bandits. Hopped back on the train and went back. We got to the town, or as we were getting on the train, it commented that we had left no uh, witnesses. We had killed and murdered everyone. And then when we got on the, even though we'd only defended ourselves against bandits when all was said and done, we hadn't raised a hand against anybody until they attacked us. And then we just fought the one fight um, from the people that attacked us. We got on the train, we went into town. Well, we go there and everybody's like, oh, well, you murdered the Commonwealth soldiers. No, I didn't. And everybody, every shopkeeper, everybody's like, oh, you're a murderer. We don't like murders here. How dare you kill all those people? And then when you talk to the Commonwealth, one of them's like, oh, well, it's a good thing you actually killed that guy because he was an idiot. And then the other's like, how dare you kill that guy? We didn't kill him. All we did was defend ourselves. So sometimes this game is so desperate to push you to a side or another. And again, this is all scripting. This could easily change. It may not have anything to do with what their final vision for the game is. It may have just been, we've got <coughs> X amount of time 
to get this playable. And we don't have time to script in these extra personal options. So we're, we're going to pick a couple and we're going with them. And that's my guess. Um, but it really annoyed me that I purposely did not attack anybody until they gave violence to me. Because again, I don't know what's going on. Um, so this time, because there was one guy left, it was clear the Commonwealth was going to win. I'm going to jump in and hopefully get credit for helping the Commonwealth soldiers. We'll have to see. All right, so now can we talk to this guy? Now I'm just going to back off. I don't know what's going on. Um, the game seems to have broken. <coughs> and my cough seems to have come back. Um, can we do anything? Um, no? I can't save. I could load. Alt. There's all the dead people, but I can't talk to the... The living dude doesn't show up. Only the dead people do. I can't click on my party members. Can I click on the door? No, the game is just broke. Okay. Hey, let's try going to like a map or something like that. Will that help? Nope. World map? <coughs> Alright, we've got Kalsunder. We've got Howling Valley. <coughs> hmm. All right, well, let's try. Let's try how far can we load. All right, the heist starts it off again. Let's try this one more time. Now, the town we're going to has Commonwealth. So we could potentially... Let's go ahead and let's talk to... Uh, let's talk to Evan. Let's see. Where'd you come from? Oh, where are my manners? On behalf of the Commonwealth, welcome to Kalsundia, newcomer. Now step aside. Things are about to get ugly. Um, see, he doesn't even want us to be a part of it. Oh, there, there we go. There's our normal roles. Inquire about the situation. Your timing for questions is terrible. At any second, this is going to turn south. When it does, an extra weapon would be helpful. I promise to repay you in Howling Valley if you fight on our side. You could try talking some sense in the bandits. Or be there to guard our backs when they pounce. All right, so. Then, can we talk to you? Quite courageous interrupting us like this. I see you, newcomer. I do. Factionless you may be. Now's not the time to try and make friends. That was kind of my thinking the first time I played through this. Oh. Still nothing. Inquire about the situation. You don't look like a tenderfoot, but you're acting. Listen closely. I'll tell you Kalsunia's best kept streak. The factions of clans, they're all death dealers. If sins exist, then they are the guiltiest sinners of us all. If you desire to help us poor desert roamers, attack this commander ballad standing in front of us. Watch out if you don't, though. Commonwealth commander's mine. You help my men take care of the rest, and we all share the loot. Should we try to get him to leave peacefully? Let's threaten him. A leader of a faction. So we're going to get a plus four, minus five, or at least at a minus one. So we're not likely to get this. Oh, but that might do it. Nope, nope. Whatever that last negative was, that last negative five got us there. Or got us past it. Threats, you do like to borrow trouble. Let's see if you really want it. All right, so combat started. All right, our first goal here. I'm going to go... I guess at at the do at Harlan. Never get out of Harlan alive. Um, and then I'm going to protective barrier. All right. And then I'm gonna kind of just step up to like maybe like to here, ish. And then I'm gonna end my turn. Here goes nothing. There's a reload. Okay, another shot in on Harlan there. All right, you, what do you want to do? Um, we need to go after purple. So if I can go to, like, here, and then hit you in the, f the back, <coughs> end your turn. All right, another shot in on Harlan. Ah, has a... 
Repost? Ripost? I never know how to say that word. Alright, game seems to have locked up again. Oh, he's doing something. He's going slow. All right. All right, we'll wait. Apparently, it's waiting on the character itself to decide whether it wants to do its bonus action. We'll give it another second here. Oh, still going slow. Now he's making an attack, it looks like. Just see if clicking anything else somehow makes some of this happen. Be nice if the area map showed other people as well, huh? Um, wait. World map. Nope, doesn't look like it's going to work. Oh, I'm on end. Yeah, yeah, we did our bit. I think it's broke again. I think it's broke again. So I think... Here, we'll zoom in here on this fight. I was going to take us to the next uh, village. But I think this may be just as good a time as any um, to kind of wrap up our thoughts on this game. And that's that there's a lot of promise here. But this game is in very early access. Probably a little too early to have been released, in my opinion. Um, bugs are a thing. Uh, again, we're, we're already here. Character pathing. Characters just stop and won't get out of the way when you try to move, for instance. You can get easily blocked in. You have to take control of them and try to get them to move to do something else. That's an issue. Scripting is what scripting is. There's plenty of times to fix that. Like I said, I hated the scripting and the dialogue and the characterization in Baldur's Gate 3 right up until the final release. Um, in fact, I almost did not play the final release because I disliked it so much. And that got changed. And, and it wasn't huge changes, um, but it was enough that it really com it did completely change the feel of the start of the game. And it's a game I've, I've loved, I've really liked. I think because of the influence slash insight system that this game wants to strongly embrace, it is going to pigeonhole some builds as significantly stronger than other builds. <clears throat> Especially because it appears at the moment that that insight and influence are going to be based purely on your character. While the tactic skill, let's see if that will work for us here. This works off of the best tactics in the party. If they change that such that influence or um, insight works off the best character in the party, then that frees you up to make the character you want and just make sure you have a party member in that can handle those things, whether that be your, your priest or your cleric with a high wisdom, whether that be maybe a thief with a high uh, uh, charisma, something along those lines. Maybe there'll be some additional classes as well or, or sub-archetypes, whatever they call them in this. Um, by the time the game launches as well, or later in early access that will give you some more options, you know, like a bard character or something like that. So, I think there's some scripting issues, there's clearly some bug issues, all of which are somewhat acceptable in an early access, although the bugs are maybe a little bit worse. But hell, Owlcat has released games that are this bad as a full release. So, you know, maybe my... Maybe my uh, um, conceptions, my my opinion is based on unrealistic expectations. There we go. My, ex my expectations are unrealistic. I don't know. Uh, maybe Baldur's Gate actually did change that quite a lot. Although, I've played a lot of games recently that have been pretty good. Rogue Trader, I've, I had very few bugs in, either in the early access, the alpha, the beta, or uh, the final release. So, I don't know that I am. Uh, but regardless, we've got some bugs, we've got some scripting issue, we've got some mechanics issues, how people move, we've got some problems potentially with specific builds being 
definitively stronger than others based on the actual mechanics of influence and insight. Those are the negatives. Let's talk about the positive. Let's in strong. Because I think this is going to be a very good game. Those negatives are what they are. But this game is beautiful. It's, it's strongly based on Dungeons & Dragons. If you like Dungeons & Dragons, that's a bonus. If you don't, that's a negative. Um, but I do. So for me, it's a system that I generally understand and like. Um, I actually... The inside influence thing, I like. I would love to see games use that type of stuff more often than they do. So even though it's a negative, it's also a positive that this is happening. So I don't really... It kind of balances itself off. I think it it allows for some interesting gameplay and maybe some gameplay that requires less combat than normal gameplay. Maybe making a bard or something like that, an actual viable character to play, assuming they give this, give us that archetype. Um, so I like that. I like the world. Uh, it seems to be... I don't know how deep it's going to be, right? It's interesting. Um, how shallow it's going to be or how deep it's going to be, it's hard to say at this point. Um it's pretty shallow as far as I've played. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Uh, but that doesn't mean anything. So we'll see how it goes as it goes. Um, but I think it's beautiful. I think it works. It looks good. I mean, that is the beautiful. I like the overall idea. I like the fact that it's an original IP, an original world. Um, and I like the idea of the influence and such like that as you play these different factions back and forth. Uh, and faction is more than just a, I attack that guy to do a mission for them and has more to do with personal connections that you make throughout the game and throughout the world. Uh, I really do like that. I think this game is going to be very good if, A, they can fix the bugs. Uh, and, and for me, B, the scripting needs a lot of work. Um, that was my number one problem with Starfield, for instance. Uh, I thought the scripting in Starfield was was completely half-assed on release. Some of it was clearly uh, just never finished. It was placeholders that they never went back and fixed. Um, the question is, will these people go back through and fix that and make it make sense based on the choices that you've made or not made going forward? Um, but I, I think it's good. I really do. I know I had more negatives than positives. Um, but a lot of that is, is early access. Um, and because it has early access, a lot of that is gets a free pass at this point. Um, we get to wait to see as he makes the swing. That's a pretty good slow motion swing there for me. Um, we'll have to see how it goes. It does. Who are we on? I'm trying to figure out what character we're on at the moment. Hard to say. Um, we, it's not me because I don't have that helmet on. It's got to be one of these guys, right, with the helmet there. Uh, anyway, uh, I think it's going to be very good, and it's worth keeping an eye on. Uh, I'm not going to play super deep at this point. Uh, I've kind of seen what I want to see, um, but as major updates come up, I'll probably jump back in, and maybe we'll revisit this game as it goes, much like we did with Celasta. Celasta was much more bug-free, though, um, than this was, as far as another Dungeons & Dragons-based um, uh, CRPG goes. Celasta was, um, from a quality control standpoint, was very, very well done. Um, this is a prettier game than that uh, by a lot because that's not an attractive game. So, you know, there's a difference in focus maybe, uh, but we'll see how it turns out. So uh, this has been Unforetold Witchstone. Um, I think it's an exciting new IP. I think it's an exciting new early access. I just think it needs a lot more work before it's really ready to start committing some serious time to. Um, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, so stay tuned, I guess. Watch this space for more. Uh, as patches and content comes out, if, you, if you've seen something that I missed and you'd like me to jump in and play, let me know. Um, send me a message, hop on the Discord, uh, use the community page here on YouTube, whatever it may be. Uh, and I'll be happy to, to revisit this game as we go forward because this is one that interests me. So until then, thank you for watching. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more. Uh, or hit that membership button if you'd like to get some additional perks as well. Uh, we do have a Discord down below as well. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Cheers.